Next, we go to Fort Campbell, Kentucky, in a story about soldiers who have come home from Afghanistan. When they pack up to leave the war zone, troops inevitably leave some things behind, often out of necessity. So Steve Osinsami has the story of one soldier who has had one important item returned to him, courtesy of a very special delivery. She was just a newborn puppy when they found her in the middle of the battlefield in Afghanistan. Hey girl, you were out? They were the young soldiers of the 101st Airborne about to return stateside. She was the Afghan mix they adopted, but by military law were not allowed to bring home. And it was very, very young, so they would have left it there, it would have never made it. They named her Allie. Corporal Michael Lemons called his mother in Kentucky and asked for help. The actual shipping cost to get the dog from Afghanistan to New York was a total of about $2,500 that we had to raise. Terry Lemons raised the money. Hey, Allie! And Allie arrived hey. in this brave new we'll world two weeks before the soldiers came home. We got streets here. You got to watch out for the streets. Pilots who do this for free flew Allie and another dog from New York to West Virginia and from there to Louisville, where the corporal's mother was waiting. Michael will be here soon, don't you worry. Jerry Sicka says he's proud to help reunite rescue pets with their returning soldiers. They call us the heroes, you know, that we're helping them out and, you know, you're, you're my hero. And I'm just like, listen, guys, like, you know, we're just doing our part. You guys are the heroes. After two tours in Iraq and another in Afghanistan, Corporal Lemons and the other soldiers of the 101st came home to a hero's welcome at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. His mother was there, so was the rest of his family, and so was his dog that had traveled so far. We go out for physical training and she'd go run with us. She stayed in formations with us. She was very important. She was very important to everybody because uh, in places like that, you don't really have very much. And uh, having a puppy was like having a part uh, of our homeland with us there. He says he's happy to be home and happy she's home too. Steve Osinsami, ABC News, Fort Campbell, Kentucky.